So part of the whole Trek World experience is coming to the factory, the world headquarters. So they completely redesigned the place this year with a bunch of awesome viewing windows, pretty much just set up for a factory tour. So we're gonna get to go check out some cool things like paint, some research and development departments. Let's walk around and see what kind of cool stuff we can see. Looks like we timed it just right. A new frame just came out of the prep department, went on the conveyor belt into the paint robot studio. This guy's getting his orders from the paint mixer. I don't really know what's going on, but it looks like it's sucking the paint out of that mixture barrel there. Got mixed, fed into that barrel. It's getting all the paint out of the tube like an elephant would pull water out of the bucket, and then it's just gonna <laughs> spit it onto that frame, make it look awesome. Oh, now the spitting begins. Man, that's cool. All right, the paint robot's done spitting the paint out of its elephant trunk. And so now we're gonna go see where the frame goes after it's done getting its fresh coat of paint. Let's go see some stickers being put on this bad boy. So some of the more complex bikes get painted over there. Once they're done being painted, they go right here. And we get to invade her privacy now as she's laying down a, a really cool looking Trek decal. All right, we're one little piece away. Drum roll, please. Boom. Trek logo, mounted on the custom painted Project One frame. And we saw it live. So this is really exciting for me. We get to the awesome opportunity of working on custom painted bikes. The C3 team, Eric Bjorling right here. He's like the, the magician behind the paintbrush. And uh, he's working on a new session park for me right now. Perfect timing, it just happened to be at the factory. We're gonna go take a look at it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, you did like the Triumph font right here. Oh, sick. The most exciting thing about getting a custom painted bike is sending them like a shadow of an idea and then seeing how they just morph that and get, put their creative touches onto it and see what it ends up looking like in the end. Reading all the secret notes. <laughs> Want to tell us a little, a couple things about this whole process here, Eric? Um, basically we use chrome. First I got to spray it black, make it nice and smooth. And basically I have a masker, like a, a decaler that helps out with me a lot of times, gets me out of jams. And we basically just follow the, you know, just follow the piece of paper. And we rock it out. Some rims too. I heard about that. Custom rims, that's a surprise. All these little surprises. Oh, chrome looking rims. <laughs> that looks so sick. But we, you know, so, so the paint could stick better to it and all that kind of stuff. But when it's all nice and clear down, it would be super rad for you. I'm going to be doing my best to land straight sideways and on the landing so I can keep these rims around as long as possible. Can't thank these guys enough. Every time they whip something up, you know, it ends up looking even better than you could have imagined in the initial emails. So definitely really cool to be here and get to thank them in person for making these awesome custom painted bikes. Andrew Shandro happens to be here right now. What a coincidence. Andrew, so great to see you. How long have you been riding for Trek now? 30 years, wow, that's amazing. You must be getting pretty old, how old are you now? 74, gosh, time flies. I can't believe you're already all the way up there. And man, how did you get to be such a tough guy? Oh, just born that way? Wow, so impressive. Such an inspiration. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Andrew Shandro. Hope to catch a ride with you later. Oh, he's already gone, he's so fast, he's gone. Thanks, thanks for your time, Andrew. See you later.